Hi everyone, it's Anna here. Um, it's been five months since I started my weight loss journey and four months since surgery and I'm now down 35.5 kilos um, which is great on the scales and um, the clothes are looking a lot better than, than what they did. In fact I've sold a lot of my old fat clothes <laughs> so I've even made money out of this. Um, I feel I feel good. Um, I haven't really reached that euphoric yes I feel fantastic and which is sort of playing a little bit on my mind but I do feel healthier than what I did um, but I, I guess I now have to get my brain to catch up with the body <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's time to start doing some exercise that eating small amounts and drinking lots of water is just not going to cut the mustard <laughs> I'm actually going to have to start moving um, which I plan on doing I um, want to do because I know it's going to help me tone up the bingo wings and the <laughs> and the, the bum and the legs um, I still have um, a bit of trouble in um, getting my head around the fact that I'm never going to be as big as what I was. Um, I'm not just on a diet, I'm not just losing weight and then six months later I'm going to put it all back on again. Um, that's um, a mental thing that's still going around in my head and it's it, I'm still to to believe that it's a good mental thing. Um, but overall, life's pretty good. Um, I'm halfway to the goal that I set myself of 80 kilos. And I have 13 more kilos to go before I crack the hundy. So I think that quite possibly will be champagne day when, when that happens. No, not quite possibly. Yes, it will. Champagne, all around, everybody. Um, I do notice that I'm not the fattest person out there anymore. I walk around walk around the shops and think, hmm, yeah, my bum's smaller than hers or his. Which gives me a little bit of a... <laughs> um, but it's, it's a very, very long journey and it's been a hard one so far very hard. I can't um, binge like I used to. I can't eat, you know, a big plate of pasta or um, a Big Mac meal and a fillet of fish. I can't do that. I actually don't want to do it. Sometimes, yeah, I look at it and I smell it and I think, mmm, yeah, oh, I could do a Big Mac, but I just physically can't do it. I can't. The highest I can do is about three nuggets and four chips. <laughs> In fact, my one-year-old eats more than me. Yeah, my one-year-old eats more than me. I don't think I would ever in my life have thought that I was ever going to say that. So, um, yeah, halfway. In four months, halfway. So, it's pretty good. You have any trouble eating anything? Chicken. Still gets stuck. No matter how much lube I put with it, it's still chicken sandwich, which is my favourite. I just, I avoid it now because I just can't work out how to let it make it sit properly. Um, I can pretty much, pretty much eat anything now except for the chicken. Did you used to be a sweet tooth or a bit of a savoury eater? Um, sweet, definitely. After dinner I would always have to have something sweet to eat. Um, I went through a stage there where I would have a Magnum ice cream every night after dinner. And are you still a sweet tooth? Um, yeah, I am. Um, I have a mini Magnum now, but I have it once a fortnight instead of 
one and why not one. why not every day because it depends on what I've had for tea sometimes I'm too full full sometimes I can't be bothered sometimes I don't want it it's not in the freezer I'm too tired I go to bed <laughs> um, I don't want it I don't want it I don't want it <laughs> I've only got this much stomach and after dinner I have this much stomach left <laughs> so sometimes I'll have a couple of sips of a cup of tea and then I'm done that's the thing that I can't do as well is when I'm really thirsty I can't take I can't do a big skull like I used to I can definitely drink more than what I could in the beginning straight after surgery um, but yeah I can't drink lots at one time which pff, there goes there goes my sculling ability when I'm at the pub <laughs> none of that for me anymore I can drink alcohol I've had a couple of inch glasses of wine which have been delicious. Um, but I really... Is it easy to get drunk? Well, I, have, I haven't been drunk yet. I'm actually too scared to get drunk. Because, well, I don't want to deal with the aftermath afterwards. I've got two kids that I look after. And I think I'd just rather have a couple of sips here and there and enjoy myself than get power like I used to. Mind you, then again... I might plan my first night out on the Terps. Oh, cheap. I'm going to be cheap, that's for sure. <laughs> Food bill's gone down dramatically. Have you seen any change in your clothes size? Oh, yeah. I was a 26. I'm now, I'm now a 20, but I am wearing some 18 sizes. So... Sexy Anna, no. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> I don't know. Because I can. <laughs> mm. I have a new hairdo. The, um, the old one just had to go. Um, so I'm, I'm slowly little bits and pieces along the way. I'm um, making myself feel good. My husband likes it. People, I haven't posted very many photos of me, um, and I did one the other day with a new hair, and it was quite successful because I haven't really shown anyone um, out there in computer land how I've shrunk. But you know, good things come to those who wait. Your fans can wait. My fans can wait. <laughs> so, what else have you? What else has been going on? Mm. I am looking forward to going home in May. Um, only because I'm going to be able to sit easier in the plane seat and I won't need to ask for an extension seat belt. It's going to be great. And the tray is actually going to sit in front of me rather than on resting on my stomach. <laughs> yes. I probably won't be able to eat all they give me. <laughs> but... Apart from that, we're just ticking along. <laughs>